Jeffrey introduced to us the new concept of composables. If you already coded React application or Next.js application, you might know what are hooks. Well, basically, it's exactly the same as composables. However, with the View Composition API introduced by View Free, the idea is to split the code logic into several files instead of having the same logic everywhere mixed. Why we do that? Because it makes the code lighter, but also because it helps us to debug faster and to have some code cleaner. So we created in View Free the composables in order to separate some code logic. So let's, let's have an example because we need something concrete. Here I got two views. I got index.view and I got profile.view. And let's say that in index.view, I would have a function called say hello with just console log hello. There we go. All right. And I want to trigger this function every time index.view will be built. So back in my app, I open and there we go. I got hello that is console logged. Now let's say that I want to have the same, the same function triggered in my profile.view. Well, it's a bit dumb because I got uh, the same piece of code written uh, in two different places. And here the thing is that it's two different functions, even if they got the same name. They got the same name, so it means that they are supposed to do the same thing. Okay? But they have two declarations in two places. And that could be a problem because one could console log hello and the other one could console log goodbye. And that's a problem here because we wish that say hello could do the same thing. To solve that problem, we could create a composables that will contain our say hello function. So here I'm going to create a new folder and this folder is going to be called composables. And now you understood Nux3. Auto import is the main feature. Of course, Nux3 will auto import all our composables. So the convention says that with view free, we should name the composables with a use before. So let's say that here we are going to call that useutils.ts. Here, what we're going to do, we are going to create a um, const, okay, called useutils that we are going to export. And this would be a function. Okay, so let's get back at our say hello. Let's say that in our function, we would have this say hello there. And now what we want to do, we want to return say hello. Now I got this file called useutils that I could use everywhere in my app because uh, I have the auto import feature made by Nux3. So instead of having this declaration there, what I can do is just destructure, okay, my useutils. And useutils come from where? It comes from this file composables. So Nux3 understand that every file that is there has a function and he is going to record this function. And here the function that we have is, of course, useutils. So I got useutils and what I need to uh, import is say hello. And now I got my say hello there that I can trigger. Of course, I can do exactly the same there. And now I don't get the problem that uh, uh, that I have two different declarations. So here I can put hello from use utils. Back and I update, we see that I got hello from use utils. So I really encourage you to work as much as possible with composables. And now you understood that we can, you don't need to import, okay? With view free, you would have to do, do this. You will have import from uh, at uh, composables, etc., etc you can have the big benefit of the auto import of the composables folder with Next3. And I really encourage you to um, gather all the business logic into composables because it's easier to read, easier to debug, and it doesn't um, uh, make your code base heavier. It's a very good timing to talk about a very useful library that a lot of uh, Vue and Nux developers are using. This library is called ViewUse. ViewUse has been created by Anthony Fu. He's really known in the Vue community. And there's a lot of other developers that help him. But basically, this ViewUse library is working a bit like Composables. When you install this library, you get tons of methods that helps you to develop faster and that improve your developer experience. 
most of the time, if you would need to detect, if you click outside, you would go into your composable and you would click a function called const uh, uh, on click outside. Okay, that's really basic. A lot of developers are doing this all the time. Well, the thing is that if you install ViewUs, you don't need to do that. All you would need to do is to import click outside coming from the ViewUs library. So as you see, you get some examples and it shows that you will um, save a lot of time if you use this kind of li library instead of uh, creating your own function. And at the same time, think about something. The ViewUs core team actually worked on many functions. Look at this. They thought about everything. So don't think that you could do better than an open source community that is working on that all the time. The, the code quality of this library is tremendous. It's amazing. So do not waste your time writing function. And here you get a lot of examples. You may have a trouble and this trouble could be certainly solved by a function there. So I really encourage you to go on view use and to install this library to use it.